Olympic cheerleaders. It starts tonight at 5 p.m. and 15% of your total purchase will benefit our cheerleaders. Today for our show, we have Tyler Farrell talking about the boys' golf team booking their very first trip to states, Bailey informing us of a shocking weather fact, and Tyler Frick telling the story of a man who would go to extreme lengths to protect himself. Now let's go check out some sports highlights with Tyler Farrell. Boys golf team as they played yesterday at Fox Hollow Golf Club in a region tournament. The team was led by Donnie Gabrosic who shot a 70 as Mitchell took home the region championship title. This is their first ever region championship for the boys golf team. Donnie Gabrosic won the region individual title after winning the conference individual two weeks ago. Anthony Swinford finished tied for second after winning district individual last week. And Mike Spinger also finished top 10 in the region as well. They now advance to states next week. Congratulations to our girls golf team as well as they accomplished the same thing yesterday, winning the region championship title and advancing the states for the first time since 2009. So great job and congratulations to both, to both of those golf teams on their amazing accomplishments. Also Mustangs, don't forget you can tune into Fox at 7.30 tonight to watch the St. Louis Cardinals take on the Boston Red Sox in Game 1 of the World Series. A good matchup tonight is Adam Wainwright faces off against John Lester, so make sure you check that out tonight. That's all for sports, now let's go check out what lunches are with Lunch Lady Delights. Today for lunch, you may choose buffalo chicken salad, chicken wings, or a ham and cheese wrap. Always remember to include fruits and vegetables with your lunch today. That's all for lunches. Now let's send it over to Amber with National News. Today in national news, a White House top national security director by the name Jofi Joseph was fired recently due to him posting hundreds of critical tweets about his bosses. News reporters say that the tweets were mostly too inappropriate to read aloud, but were generally criticizing government policies, his bosses, and even President Barack Obama. Although Joseph has been let go, there is no word on how it will affect his wife, who also has a high-profile job on Capitol Hill. In other news, Antoine Williams, a police sergeant in North Texas, was arrested yesterday and accused of stealing tennis shoes, thousands of dollars, and a video game while on the job. Antoine, along with two other officers, raided a house that they thought had drugs, and when nothing was found is when Antoine stole the items. After the two police officers reported to authorities what had happened, Antoine's house was raided and sneakers and money was found. That's all for national news. Now let's go check out what today's weather is like. Hey Mustangs, Bailey Schmarker here with today's weather. Today is high as 79 degrees and the low as 60 degrees. After the rain we had last night, we now have a cool front that will be lasting the rest of the week. During the day, it will be a little breezy but also less humid because of our cool temperatures. Today it will be mostly clear and still cool out, so if you have any outside evening plans, make sure to bring a jacket. Patrick, what are you doing today? Thank you, Bailey. I am in the band room with our Teacher of the Year. How does it feel? Feels great. Um, our students work really hard, so I can't take all the credit, but it feels really nice. That's awesome. Now, roughly how many instruments do you play? I'm state certified on all the wind instruments and percussion instruments. Um, I'm really good at one, which is percussion, but um, yeah, you know, you have to learn them all to, uh, to get to this job. So that's, that's awesome. Well, I know you're great at what you do, but I feel like I can compete with you. Possibly. Well, can we have a band off right now? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I let's, think so. let's do it. All right, you're first. Let's okay. see this. Uh, let's start at uh, A. Let's go with A. He's got nothing on me. <laughs> Okay, that, wa that wasn't bad, but it's my turn. Swap with you. Oh, sure. It's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, I'm going to stick to my job. You stick to yours. Uh, Bailey, back to you. The weather fact of the day is that thousands of people are struck by lightning each year. Today's art photo was sent by Hannah Taylor. This piece is found in her book project, and she used color pencils to create it. 
The weather photo of the day was sent in by Jordan Archbald. Thank you for the photo of the blue sky in one cloud. Remember, if you have a weather photo, please email it to mhsweatherphoto at gmail.com. Now let's go check out the weekday update with Tyler Frick. In campus news, the final day for underclassmen makeup pictures is Friday. You can get your paperwork from your English teacher, and the pictures will be taken in the gym. Also, for all Key Club members, there is a meeting tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And if you have any questions, please see Ms. Scalarotti in green. Now let's check out NPR News at 9 with Amber. Today in local news, Ybor City will be having their original Guavaween event this Saturday. There will be a special Monster Mash themed costume contest with a $1,000 cash prize, a local band performance, followed by an average costume contest. Admission is free and you can look on TampaBay.com for more information. Also, the Clearwater Getaway Farmer's Market is up and ready for business. It's a great place to buy a wide variety of different foods at affordable prices. The market will be open on Saturdays from 9 to 2. That's all for local, now let's go check out this story. In random news, Dan Vincent of Colorado prompted some 911 calls Tuesday morning as onlookers saw him dangling from a hot air balloon. Vincent was actually doing a promotion for his workout product, which he created. All Vincent said was, I was just working out. Also in Hawaii last week, a surfer went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a shark. Former boxer Jeff Horton was sitting on a surfboard when a shark started, get, started attacking him. Horton landed a couple punches and was able to get to shore with another surfer. Thank you for tuning in to the Mustang News in the Morning. Wait for a second. Students, just a reminder that yearbooks are going to be on sale for the last time for $75. The price will go up to $80 in November. Students can purchase the yearbook in room 517 or on yearbookforever.com. Underclassmen picture makeups are on 25th of October and senior makeups will be on 28th and 29th. Again, thank you for tuning in to the Mustang News in the Morning. I'm Tyler Frick. And I'm Amber Lewis. Have a great day.